Hello, I'm Sammy McDermott, a postdoctoral research associate in the Department of Physics at the University of Cambridge. I work on the Open Flexure project, where we are aiming to use 3D printing to democratise microscopy. You may be familiar with the Open Flexure microscope, which is already starting to make an impact around the world. Here we present the Open Flexure Delta stage, a variant of the Open Flexure microscope. Its low cost and small size make it suitable for a researcher to have on their lab desk or in an extraction hood. The optics module uses a Raspberry Pi camera for imaging and can use standard RMS objective lenses, or even the lens that comes with the camera. The stage is motorized, meaning that complicated experiments using scanning and Z-stacks can be achieved. The microscope is controlled using a Raspberry Pi. Custom open source software has been developed with a friendly user interface. However, the key feature of the open flexure delta stage is the design of the 3D printed stage. Here we use a delta robot mechanism, a type of parallel arm robot consisting of three arms that are made with flexible parallelograms. You may have seen similarly designed mechanisms with the Rostock design 3D printers. The sample itself remains parallel whilst moving in three dimensions and the optics remain stationary. The software maps the movement of the three motors, A, B and C, into Cartesian coordinates, X, Y and Z. Because of the modularity of the design of the microscope, we have been able to develop several different imaging modalities. The standard modality is bright field illumination, where we use a white LED to illuminate the sample. We also have epifluorescence illumination, which you can see poking out the base of the microscope. This uses a higher power star LED for illumination and glass filters. Pseudophase allows us to increase the contrast of objects. Here we use a small one inch squared LED grid, which we can control using the Raspberry Pi. This allows us to change the angle of the illumination rapidly to capture pseudo phase images. As an example of using the open vector delta stage for correlative imaging, we look at malaria blood smears. We dual stain our smears with Giemsa for bright field imaging and Cyber Green, a fluorescent stain. They both target the parasite's DNA and so indicate where the parasites are. If we image using different modalities and correlate the images, we have gained some extra information about our smears and the location of the parasites. Captured using the open flexure delta stage, here are examples of a bright field image in which the Giemsa highlighted purple parasite can be seen inside the red blood cell. B shows the same field of view, but this time using epifluorescence. The cyber green highlights the location of the parasite a lot more clearly than the bright field image. Finally, in C, we can see the same field of view as a pseudo phase image. I would encourage you to go and visit our website and GitLab where everything is available to look at and download. Finally, I'd like to thank my colleagues who have helped with the Open Flexure Delta stage and our funders. Thank you for listening.